Welcome to Winter Time at Fort Hope, everyone. Now you all will be none the wiser. However, I have just experienced quite a bit of technological tomfoolery, we'll call it, over the last few days. I lost this save, or so I thought. And I've had to do some wrangling to figure out how to get it back. So first of all, thank you for the patience that you didn't know you were showing. And second, let me explain a few things that I did in the from the last episode until now. So on my usual recording night, I recorded part of an episode and the screen went blank. I was able to get about eight minutes of footage, but it went blank. So I thought, all right, no problem. I'll just go back in, I'll splice the two together, no big deal. When I did the next part, it only lasted about three minutes and it went blank. So I realized that there was an issue with me switching between mod packs because I'm also doing a series with the red ketchup mod and I'm doing this series obviously with the Colonial Charter because it has the fort. So I've done a few things. Um, I started clearing more of this because we agreed that this, since I built this huge bridge, this will be the main gate. And then we're going to bring the fort wall down here and across here. And over here is where we're going to put the quartermaster. And then this section is going to be all the military stuff. All the barracks and the tents and the parade ground military over here. And then this way is going to be more of like the... What do I want to say? Like the town that's inside of the fort. That's where the, the people will live. And so the fort walls should come down here and probably across. We'll probably flatten, use the flatten tool to flatten this mountain. But we'll keep this mountain here. We'll keep this mountain here. And we'll keep, of course, these edge mountains. And we might, if we're feeling especially excited about it we might build like a little parapet out this way we'll certainly build something along here beside to watch over the quartermaster um, and i had already mentioned we'll do some type of fortification along here maybe along this side as well but now that i think i have sorted out the issues with the save i feel a lot better so I placed this farm supplier because we don't have anything for these fields, right? Uh, but we need lumber. So that was the other thing that I did before and uh, it's where we're gonna jump in here this time. So we're gonna go to, I believe it's in here. I believe incorrectly, uh, it would be in here. So this is a water wheel sawmill. We've got this beautiful waterway, so let's go ahead and take advantage of it. We'll put this right here. Uh, so they'll get that built, and then once that is built, using our plenty of logs, our plenty, is that what I mean to say? Uh, the, the We've got plenty, we have plenty. Let's go ahead and bump this to a thousand. Um, I also finished out these log cabins, so these are our you know, starting families. We've got a few homes down here in these rustic abodes, right? Those will eventually, we hope, be... Uh, we might keep those out there, but the, the homes that we have in the interior of this town here will be very orderly, very uh, military precision, right? That's intentional. So I cleared this out because we're going to put our main gate to the fort is going to go essentially across here. I wanted to go ahead and place that and 
get working on the fort. So we want the main gate. Da, 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 da. That doesn't look very... How about this? Is this... Aha. Could I do this with this inside of it? Oh. Oh. What? How did I do that? I swear the first time I clicked on it, it was not that fancy. But this is precisely what we want right here. It'd be nice if I could line it up on this, but then we're gonna run smack into this mountain. So I'm gonna have the road come a little bit crooked. Maybe right along, right down to here. Let's do here. So we'll build this, oh boy, I already lost it. Uh, we're gonna build this. Let's do a two square overlap. Is that four, I think? Okay. And then let's get back here. That's so weird. All right, we don't need another gate. We want probably probably not that far. Um, let's do a single on each side, and then put in this corner. So that'll make a nice tidy corner. And then this wall is going to come back here. Okay. Two. Is it going to let me or am I going to have to go on an angle? Three. Hmm. There's going to be some tricky camera work here while I'm getting this sorted out. with that and we need to do more of this okay. all right sorry again about the camera work we just wanted to get this main gate done and then we're gonna have to do something it's just not very square because of the lay of the land I don't know if it if what I should do out here. I don't know what would make sense to be out in front of. Maybe we could do more. Sto well, you would want your storage inside. So this should be done soon, and then we can get the lumber to get this going. And we have to figure out what we have to trade. Because uh, seeds are expensive. So we're going to need to get something up and running to be tr a trade good. Perhaps because we've got all these trees, we could do lumber as a trade good. That seems like it could be profitable. I think that we also have access to the reed farmer. So we could always do some reeds. We've got some workers, actually, which is odd. I don't ever usually have workers. I think I might put a water scavenger down here because it'll be right beside that building there. that storage and they could I think could get quite a few resources there so we'll do that 
We're going to go ahead and put two people here making lumber for now. And then that should get this done in hopefully short work. All right. How is this construction going? It looks like once we get a decent bit cleared here, oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's going to be really neat. Did I do that on the wrong side? Nope. It has a... Oh, that is, <laughs> that is very cool. I'm very excited about that. first products out I think it makes sense see here's my my big question at this stage what do I want to do with this area between the two like obviously this is self-sustaining we're gonna have to move some of this I would guess down here uh, once we get more of a major settlement going. But, like, I'm not going to tear down the school, right? Like, that wouldn't make sense. I'll just build another school down there. And, actually, now that I think about it, do they have... Yes. Perfect. So we can do some of the three-story buildings with the school oh yeah this is gonna be cool this is gonna be really cool old buildings I think these are already in the other part as well statue carver old dairy Yeah, see. Alrighty. We're at 2100 food, which isn't terrible, but could always be a little better. Go ahead and mark a few things. Where, where's this person going? You have to watch for this kind of stuff. See? For some reason, they're finding it faster to walk around the mountain than it is to come down here. The pathfinding is kind of frustrating. They're wasting so much time, and this looks like it's full, so that might be influencing them as well. So let's go ahead and add more to the stockpile. Hopefully, okay, they're getting this up and running. We are going to, are we going to need a regular trader as well? Maybe not, maybe not. But another thing that I had mentioned in the episode that I believe that got deleted uh, was that I think I'm going to put the quartermaster here. I think that'll look really cool. So... I know so far we've really only built palisade walls, and that's not the most uh, enthralling military part to build. But, and I don't have the stuff to build tents. That would be cool if the tents were easier to make, and then you could essentially like put people in military work down here. That'd be kind of fun. But. Beggars can't be choosers. This is a really awesome set, and I'm not going to complain about that. It looks like it's four cloth and a musket that you have to make. So, we can make muskets at the foundry. Or maybe it, maybe we can make those also at the blacksmith, at the 
this blacksmith? Yeah, we can make them here. So that's good to know. So something like this might make sense to take down there. You know, pull it out of here and, and move it down there. But, oh boy, we have a lot more families than uh, houses. Let's... I think I'm going to go ahead and put in a few more. Okay, so th this part we said is going to be the... We'll probably put the roadway kind of in this little dip part here. So let's start putting some houses in. There. We can also maybe eventually do something with the have a flag can't have it if you don't have a flag sorry uh, do, do, do. actually maybe a hunter out here could make sense. Keep keep the animals at bay and get us a little bit of extra food. Not outside of the realm of possibility. What does that need? Oh, it just needs to be built. Okay. We still making lumber there? Looks like it. Ooh, how much leather is that? All right, good. Alrighty, so this is up. We'll just do one person in here. And our inventory, we need uh, about a thousand lumber in here. Well, let's do 500 lumber for now. And we will go ahead and do reeds. Let's get a reed, a reed farmer. Perhaps right along this shoreline. There shouldn't be a lot of people. Yeah, reed farm. We'll put a reed farm right right there. Right. Should be able to fit another one in right there. So then they can just walk right down here and we should have storage close enough right there. Should be good. Lovely. We apparently need more builders. And all right, we're getting close to the end of end of this episode so oh boy and we're under a thousand food this is what happens when you get caught up in a project Thanks. let's rework their priorities get that food gathered up Hopefully we don't start losing people. Alrighty. Having a... Th if this gets done and this gets done, that will help as well.
I do wonder if making this into another forest node might be a good decision sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and mark that. Put another gatherer right here. Another hunter right there. Give them a road. Oops. Might even give them a storage barn as well. So between this storage barn and then this one down here, this area should be good to go. All right, we're up over a thousand food again, but still not fantastic. Okay, here we go. This will help. Get somebody in there. Hopefully that'll be done soon. All right, everybody. Uh, it's been cool. I'm glad that we we're able to make some progress. I'm glad that I got it working again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye for now.